So we've been, I have one crew of maintenance still, um, one crew on project. But I guess my question is, am I wasting time trying to do the project if the end goal is Augusta? Because I guess my original thoughts were if I could do projects, start making enough money from them to, you know, open an Augusta completely as a business and then, you know, not as a job working in it all day long, getting someone, you know, my maintenance guy now who's my lead, having him kind of step in as GM pretty quickly as it's starting. And that way, all the profits I'm getting from the projects can go straight into that. Or should I just completely cut out project and go to maintenance? So let's take kind of a yeah, fine. Let's take a gust. Yeah, let's take Augusta off the table and just address it from a business perspective, right? So why why would you want to get out of project? Does it mostly just feel like because it just feel like you're managing the jobs all the time and just kind of like always chasing your tail, but it's really profitable. Is that kind of where you're at? Yeah. And have, have you, yeah, I had a few a few jobs that I bid wrong in the spring mm-hmm. that I've that kind of messed me up i'm finally getting caught up next week we'll have the end of next week or the end of this week actually all of our projects are done so i don't really have much work coming up um i'm just trying to decide you know for advertising i guess do i stick with trying to keep projects going and growing that or do i just just do simpler yeah like i i think i think you can do both right like i don't think that you need to think about doing it one or the other like oh i've got to do projects or i've got to do recurring um I'm a big believer in having both in this industry because when you're done the projects at the end of this week, you're not going to go get enough recurring jobs to fill your schedule. You're going to need projects to fill the schedule. And so I think of it more as a matter of like my recurring is that long term, I'm building the business on the back of my recurring base. And ideally, you know, if you're at say 25% of your revenue right now is coming from recurring, hopefully that becomes 30, 35%. In a few years, it's 40, 45%. Because so slowly that, transition out. Yeah, well, not even transition out. There's, there's, no, there's nothing wrong with the projects. What I'd be doing though is as that percentage of your revenue becomes more from recurring, start cutting out the projects that you know are causing you to have to be there for every single aspect. You can't make a video and estimate notes and hand it off to a project manager. The ones that you constantly, or even this looking at this past, past spring, what type of services were the ones that you were losing your shirt on? You weren't confident on budget hours. You lost your shirt on materials. Just cut those services out and keep the other 80% of services when it comes to projects that are extremely profitable and you're making good money on and you have all the assets and labor for, keep those. But just cut out the other 20% right now that you're taking on because it's good revenue, but you're like hit or miss on profitability. And then you'll be able to make up for the yeah. su- subtraction of those services by just slowly increasing your recurring. It's not a zero sum game. Like you can do both. And I'm a huge believer in having both projects and recurring services. And everyone looks at what we do at Augusta and like, oh, they just want recurring. I would say 55 to 65% of the revenue that comes to Augusta is still from project-based work. The bo- the bottom line is because when you're first starting out, your first year, first year or two, from a percentage standpoint, a lot of your revenue is going to come from projects. And I'm a big fan of having at least 20 to 30 percent of your revenue coming from projects because you can fill in the gaps. And so we've had a few su- few yeah. a few different um, franchisees join Augusta thinking I'm only doing mowing. And almost all of them within their, their, in their second or third year as they get employees, three, four, five, six, they get multiple crews, multiple trucks. They start realizing, oh, I've got to add some simple, at least some simple projects in to fill in these gaps when mowing slows down or the winter. And I can't go market services when the grass isn't growing. Now you're in California, so it's a little bit more consistent, but still there's lulls. Yeah. And you can't fill next week's schedule with mowing if you have three guys sitting around. That would literally mean like 60 or 70 yeah. lawns. So projects are a really great form of being able to fill the schedule quickly. And I think you can do both. 